Before we jump into today's video, I would like you guys to go ahead and look at this five minute segment by Good Morning America in regards to the title of this video. To free my curls, I first had to free my mind. And that may sound like an overstatement, but really. Good morning, I'm ABC's Janae Norman. Thank you, Janae Norman. For nearly 30 years, I was conditioned by a standard of beauty that left me out. I just wasn't included. TV, magazines, society, by omission, told me I wasn't beautiful. Reporting live in Columbia, Janae Norman, ABC 17 News. My hair needed to be boned straight, my eyes blue or green, my skin fair, and I just didn't make the cut. When I got pregnant back in 2017, I didn't know yet if I was having a boy or a girl, but I knew that I wanted my kid to grow up loving themselves. Still to this day, I hope that my son is confident and knows that he is beautiful and perfect as is. I believe kids learn best by example. So I knew that I had to embody that confidence, that sense of self-worth in myself. And a big part of that was accepting my hair as it grows from my head. So I was battling this internal conflict, undoing the years of conditioning to try to fit a beauty standard that I would never fit, and at the same time learning to appreciate what makes me unique. While reassuring myself, I can still be taken seriously and seen as a professional with my natural hair. For many women like me in news, there's also an external factor we struggle with in deciding to go natural. We worry about whether wearing our natural hair will impact our career trajectory and how we'll be perceived at work. We worry for good reason. There are news directors right now who will not allow black reporters, black anchors to wear their natural hair on air. And that is a shame. So I was ready to challenge that. And though it's been one of the most liberating decisions of my career, it was not an easy one and it took some time. So while I was pregnant, I began straightening my hair less and less. And eventually I was wearing wigs to protect my natural hair, my natural curls. The first time I anchored the overnight show, the hairstylist convinced me to unbraid my hair and to wear my natural hair on air as it was. The feedback that morning was fantastic. So when I was named the overnight anchor a short time later, I decided I wanted to find a way to bring more of my natural self to that role. Most of the time, I do a twist out, manipulating my curls a bit, but one Monday in December, I was back from vacation and I didn't have time to twist my hair. So I did a wash and go, which is just my natural curl pattern with some curl cream. I hadn't nailed down my routine or found the right products and I was so self-conscious. That was the first morning I was on the GMA set with Robin Roberts. Moment, dig in the hair. Yes. I, almost didn't put on a I almost didn't put on a shower cap this morning because I wanted that hair. That was it. My husband still laughs at me because for months, years even, he encouraged me to wear my natural hair on air, but I was too nervous, I was too scared, I was so reluctant. But once Robin Roberts signed off on it on national television, the rest was history. The response to that moment between Robin and I was pretty big on social media. And by then, I'd started using hashtag free the curls to celebrate wearing my natural hair. That hashtag helped garner more engagement from viewers and brought attention to the fact that this wasn't just a different hairstyle, but a conscious, liberating decision to free my curls that had been stifled for years by flat irons and then smothered under wigs. So often I'm hearing from moms about what it means for their daughter to see the representation. I got goosebumps and it still makes me teary-eyed when one mom messaged me and she said, every time my baby girl sees you, she says, that's me, mom. So many other women and men have reached out. Some of them, they just appreciate seeing that representation on TV. Having someone at the network with natural hair. That though, does not mean that the strides made are enough and there's progress to be made, like making sure that we're supported with hairstylists who know how to do natural hair 
and managers and decision makers who are also open and supportive of the change. And that's exactly what I hope for. To be what I wanted to see, what I needed to see growing up. I hope the young girls growing up, coming up behind me, don't ever have to worry about how they're perceived just wearing their natural hair. And I hope being in my position that I'm able to do the same for others out there. I imagine the reporter who is the only black woman at her station or the only black reporter in her whole market who wants to wear her natural hair but is fearful for whatever reason. I hope she feels like, hey, she is on ABC News with her natural hair. If she can do it, I can do it too. Okay, so after you just watch that, how do you feel? How do you feel? Drop it in the comments below. How did that make you feel? My name is Ariana. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome or welcome back. I really appreciate you guys coming to support my channel. Go ahead and make sure you guys like the content. So ahead and subscribe if this is something that you guys are into. But I want to just talk about this video and how important it is for us to look at different stories like this. This woman's name is, I believe her name is uh, Janae Norman, and she's a TV news anchor, you guys. Um, I think this segment came out in 2019, um, if I'm not mistaken. I will also drop in the description box the actual video with the link um, to the source that I found this from. But I am so happy to see more stories of women posting things like this free the curls somebody drop in the comment section down below hashtag free the curls okay free the curls okay this is what we need to do so we can see more people like it i've had people comment under my videos as well as me even saying it myself in my videos that we do not have enough representation just like janae said our kids follow by example or she said, I think the best way that kids learn is through example. And I believe the same thing. I grew up seeing my mom wear her natural hair. So it was never a shock to me for me to see my own natural hair and to love it. A lot of us were not grown up that way. A lot of us don't have people around us that represent natural beauty at all in no form or fashion. You know, Right now, in today's age, especially in 2024, 2023, we are seeing a rise in non-natural things, whether it's through surgery, whether it's through, you know, getting your face filled with Botox and filler. Um, there's just a lot of different things that pushes us away from completely loving our natural selves. And so seeing this is a true example of how to take liberation into your own hands how to let people see the true you whether they like it or not they're going to respect it and that's how she was able to say you know what I'm gonna stop straightening my hair she stopped doing that for so long and she said you know what since I'm not straightening it I'm gonna just throw on the wig then she was doing that for a, a period of time where she said, you know what? I'm still hiding my natural hair. So she decided to fully liberate herself, liberate her curls and show them on national television. One of the main places that we will, we do not see natural hair being represented. I have a few questions for you guys. I wrote down a few questions here. And one thing I wanted to ask is, how many of you guys think it's hard to find a natural hairstylist? Meaning somebody who actually specializes in natural hair. Me. <laughs> so many hairstylists that I have ran into do not do natural hair at all. Meaning, yeah, you could talk about it. We could learn about it. But you don't do any natural hairstyles in your, in your clinic. Or, sorry, not clinic. In your shop. You don't see any type of natural hairstyles at all, except when it's straightened. I think it's really hard to find that. 
I'm not sure if I'm by myself on that or not, but it is hard to find. And so when you do come across people who specialize in natural hair texture, helping you love your natural hair texture, helping you love how your natural hair forms on its own, right? Without chemically um, being altered or anything like that. That's, I, I would I would love to meet them. <laughs> I would love to, you know, try to get my hair done by them. Because just like she said, she would like to have more hairstylists and people in general would like to have more hairstylists who do specialize in natural hair so they can be on the show helping them get ready for going live, right? With their natural hair. Sporting more natural hair looks. Not natural where it's straightened natural hair, but actually showing your natural texture curl pattern, you know? And so... I know it's not just me that thinks of this where it's where are the hairstylists that love natural curly hair or natural afro type afrocentric hair it can help me also love it i know i'm not alone on that and just like she said kids i mean I've, i i said this earlier but kids really do learn by example they really truly do when you're holding your little baby up in your arms and they try to play with your hair and it ain't yours most of the times they're not. They're going to want the same thing when they grow up. Unless you're starting to represent yourself to your children so that your children can also grow up to love their natural curly Afro type hair. And so when we don't see enough of it, it conditions us to think that it's not, it's not something that we should desire to have. So when we're on social media, we see all these, you know, people that are famous through Instagram and stuff like that. How many people can you really say you see sporting their natural curly hair or their natural textured hair? This is one of the things that I pointed out in one of my episodes. If you guys have not seen it already, I did a series on natural hair and how we've almost lost touch with it through different aspects of generations and centuries. And so I went back in time <laughs> through the history that I've learned and I created this type of docu-series on my channel for you guys to be able to get more input on where we have come from to where we are today with our natural hair and to be able to see a news anchor decide to say you know what I'm, I'm being on the news channel is one of the forefronts of television anyways because news is always going to be around news channels are always going to be around TV shows, they come and go. They have their seasons and sometimes they're done. One of my favorite shows that shows a beautiful woman with her natural hair is Insecure by Issa Rae. Who's seen it? Who's seen it? My girl Issa up in there, she, she representing for the sisters, okay? I love it. And I loved watching that, sh that TV show. But just like I said, the TV show done went and made its money and it's gone, unfortunately. Oh, I wish she make another insecure season because that it was just so good. If she do, if she does, <laughs> we gonna have a watch party because, oh my gosh, that show was so relatable, so relatable. But besides the point of talking about the show, we need to see more representation in the workplace of women wearing their natural hair, natural textured hair. Hair is a difference in between naturally straight hair and just naturally textured hair. Just like she said, Janae Norman, the news anchor, I started doing my wash and goes because sometimes I wouldn't have time to do the twist outs the night before. So I started to learn that it is okay to wear a wash and go and go to work and represent yourself with that hair. Because when you wear a wash and go, just like she said, it's a form of how your hair is technically curly on its own afro on its own without the manipulation of always having a twist out or a braid out right so i think that when we start to see more representation of it it will become more of a norm for women to start to really love it and represent it for themselves the everyday woman to walk around with their natural hair so if you guys liked that video 
that you see with Janae Norman showing her naturally textured hair, don't think you can't be the same person to do the same thing. Don't think you cannot do the same thing. You can choose when you want to go natural and keep it that way. Have minimal heat because you want to rock, rock your natural hair more often. You want to feel liberated in this world. Just like she said, she there's there's no representation. There's the blue eye, green eyes with straight hair is what people truly do want to see. And obviously, if you ain't Caucasian, straight is the best is the closest thing to that straight hair. So I truly, truly love when women are able to show their stories to, you know, be able to let women see that we're not they're They're no different than any other black woman on this earth that's gone through trials and tribulations with their natural hair. It's not going to be an overnight thing that you are going to just say, all right, I love my natural hair today. Great. Now I'm going to wear it every day. No problems, no issues. No. If you've been conditioned for so long to think that it's not okay, it is going to take some time and you have to give yourself that time. You have to be okay with knowing that I need to relearn this generational curse that's been put on black women that we have to blow dry our hair every time we wash it in order to wear it natural. We have to brush it up in a bun or something. We can't just wear it out in a natural curly fro. When you start to really recognize yourself and your natural beauty for exactly how God created it to be, I think you'll really feel more liberated in this world. So if you guys like this video, I truly do hope you guys stay and join the crew over here and go ahead and make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.